hi guys welcome back to our youtube video and today we're doing a little bit different so i'll be sharing my pork rib recipe with you guys so i'm so excited for you guys to see the process so hang in there and let's get it started so my ingredients as you can see i've laid them there with a the garlic paste garlic and ginger paste we have the beef masala we have the garlic powder we have black pepper we have paprika coriander and soy sauce and definitely the main dish which is the pork ribs you guys like so first thing we do is gonna pat it so we can dry it if the if the pork is wet just pat dry it with a serviette or a kitchen towel if you have then once you're done if the pieces are big slice them slowly so at least to make sure once you're marinating it the ingredients will seamlessly so we start with the garlic and ginger paste so we'll rub it in in every piece of that yummy juicy pork ribs that we have please take your time please be gentle we ain't going nowhere you know so let's see how yummy it looks yani yeah, putting the ginger and garlic in this please make sure your hands are clean when doing this you can use a spoon but me i opt to use my my hands and a spoon just to put it there okay you see how we're doing it so nicely guys like hakuna haraka hapa okay so see how we're doing it rub it in every pitch so next we use garlic powder which brings out the flavor out of it it's really really good again with the recipe that i'm using i don't have to do one tablespoon or two tablespoons mimi na pimanga na macho okay as you can see i'm reducing it a bit to make sure that i use it really well i don't like overusing the recipe so here we go we sprinkle it you know in each and every piece of the meat to make sure each and every piece of the meat has the garlic powder and please rub in well rub it in well with no joke so next my favorite spice which is black pepper which is really really good with this pork ribs so please again when you now come na pima to na macho i don't have one tablespoon i just pima and this is really yummy i like the heat out of you know the black pepper so again kwa pork ribs please and please rub it in very well gently with no rush hakuna mahali unenda we are just marinating okay take your time be gentle with it okay rub it sprinkle on it then next my favorite this is one that brings the heat paprika oh apa sinanga sinanga jokes now i use a lot of paprika on my pork ribs you get and i make sure each and every piece of this meat has you know it has the flavor of this so i sprinkle it on each and every meat and i make sure every piece of the meat has this amazing spice which is paprika please make sure it is really really hot so if you're not someone who likes a, a lot of heat like come up and pili please but for me i do it so next we put coriander again this is optional i just use it just because it's gonna plastic mingi so yeah i use it i just use little kidogo on it so to make a kidogo kwa the container the lid sorry then we just again sprinkle it kidogo kidogo you know make sure unaweka to but me i don't use so much i don't use so much coriander because it's not a favorite spice honestly i just use it just because just because my favorite now this is the one that brings the yummy on the pork ribs i use the tropical heat beef masala really really good for any meat from chicken to okay chicken has its own but for any meat any cut meat you have i love it on my pork ribs so this is what i do i as again sprinkle it pole pole mdogo mdogo and use a spoon because when you use your hands ladies and gentlemen uh your fingers will be yellow so you sprinkle in each and every part of it yes i rub it with my fingers but i make sure first when i'm sprinkling on top i don't use my fingers i use a spoon and the palm of my hand to make sure i sprinkle it on each and every piece of the meat okay and to make sure in end of misery higher best part soy sauce so this is what i do i use a clean container make sure it's very clean what i do to make sure that um because so i put i put i pour in some soy sauce i put it below the container okay and if it's not enough 
I add more to make sure each and every piece that I lay on the container itashika. Because it's like a chumvi kwa hypocrite. So the success is salt, okay? And it's a good seasoning, okay? So please, panga your pork ribs, pole pole, with no rush, ladies and gentlemen. Just look how good it looks like. It looks so yummy. I wish you guys could smell the flavor of it. So I pour it like a table. I put it, you know, each and every piece. You get it? You see how it is yummy and with all that flavor? I now place them each and every please if you have a bigger container please do this is the only big container i had at home you can use any big one okay so make sure you put it on a worker i know the people maybe who like it in order but may put it this way because this is the only container i had okay make sure each and every piece of the meat in a in a tosha vizuri and please if you see the other flavor please worker that's the juice honey that's the juice don't leave the Marination on the board, okay? Then after that, once I'm done, I sprinkle more soy sauce on top of the pork ribs. Again, this will help with the flavor, okay? And it's also my salt. Again, mimi siku, mimi siyezi kakwambia ni how many tablespoons, but I sprinkled. Now this is the messy part that I like, funny thing. I make sure, yes, nazi, na kunja, kunja, nzi, 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 kunja, na make sure each and every part of the meat has in a potato soy sauce and as you can see i did it so the one in this cochini na ju na make sure the soy sauce are poured each and every part of the meat has the soy sauce and nimeona imebaki sa kuna haja so the kenyan in me cannot allow to go to waste so i poured the rest okay as you can see smack you guys it smells so good that you cannot eat from it look how good it looks look how yummy it looks you guys look so after that please wash your hands and cover okay cover it don't use it to do to una cover na yo na uchafu like wash your hands cover nicely and put it in the fridge i marinated it for 20, for 24 hours so this what you do you use a non stick pan pour a little oil then once you pour a little oil make sure it in a shikamoto of course then you place the pork ribs kwa the pan so please and be careful you can use if you have the i'm sorry but i mean but my hands are really clean so i placed them okay i placed them each and every piece in the non-stick pan that i used at home okay so that's what i did i placed each and every piece of meat and you guys the smell the aroma is so good you guys by the way just look just look how many is neighbor. Oh god, it's so yummy. Oh, I cannot wait for you guys to see the outcome of it. So I place each and every piece of the meat. Oh, the kitchen smells so good, you guys. Mm, I wish you guys can just smell the aroma. Oh god, it smells so so good. So yeah, make sure na karibia you know to make sure each and every piece of the meat in a trasha to make sure each and every of it hija you know. Hakuna nyo unawacha. So keep placing the meat. Again, if you have a bigger pot, please be my guest. Use, but this is the biggest pot that I have at home. Uh, so that's what I did. I Just look how good it looks. Just look how it looks. Oh, guys, it smells so good. So, so good. So that's how I placed my my ribs on the non-stick pan. I would advise use non-stick pan because it's really, really good. And then the best part, pour the juice. Please, usimwagehi. This is the best part. Pour the juice. Yote, okay? Yote. Yes, yes. All of it. All of it. All of it. You know, the Kenyan me couldn't leave any. So, on low heat, that's how you cook the pork ribs. On low heat, ladies and gentlemen. Low heat. Okay, please. And be patient while cooking then. Cover it. I cooked my meat 30 minutes to 1 hour. And please be checking in between while we are cooking, okay? Don't do it to mala mala. Best part of it is I use ketchup. This is an optional, but I love the ketchup where I put it on top of the ribs and it brings out, it's so yummy. Like you feel like you've done your own barbecue at home. So again, as you can see, the meat is still cooking, so I don't like it wet. I make sure like the juice in the kauka vizuri supu enyewe in the kauka, okay? So I cover it for like until like 10 minutes, then voila, you guys can see in the kauka. So the best part is I put the ketchup. I'm very generous with the ketchup. So that's like, um, it doesn't matter. 
na iwekela kama topping you know like in uneka kama so so ndo itoke vizuri okay so i make sure each and every piece of this nyama imetosha vizuri okay and please be generous okay me use ketchup i use a lot of ketchup on this meat please each and every i can just look how your meat looks guy i feel like eating it now but i can't anyway <laughs> to work eh? vizuri look at the ketchup guys i am just naipaka again if you have the silicone brush please use it mimi sina so i opted for a spoon and plus with this at least my ketchup is not wasted okay so i apply each and every you know piece of the meat to make sure it marinates well you know so it cooks well so just look how good it looks you guys it looks so so yummy <laughs> wait i'm not making you feel bad but just look just look guys just look just look mm, mm. just look turning it putting more ketchup you know and i used the zesta ketchup yeah uh, yeah this ketchup they should give me you know a hamper what do you guys think yeah they should give me a hamper anyway so i added more ketchup you know in between the process to make sure that you could and a good thing that i noted also it's good when you use the ketchup when it's chilled you get a fridge again this is something i just picked up while i was making the pork ribs because nifiti it is better when it's chilled not room temperature again this is something to mainly notice when i've cooked the pork ribs okay so just look how good it looks oh you guys oh look 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 again i'm very generous with my ketchup okay very very generous very generous and this ketchup is really really good like i tried it i've uh, cooked again with um, chicken yes i did chicken and it came out really really good so look how yummy it looks guys just look how yummy it looks just look at it so so good yeah so add more ketchup again yeah as you can see that's a very huge piece of meat okay then unanela tukupaka just look how good it i just want you guys to enjoy this just for a moment just look how good it looks first enjoy it first okay so once we are done you know applying the ribs with the ketchup what i do is return it back to the cooker it cooks for exactly 10 minutes i make sure i don't use more than 10 minutes so i put it 10 minutes back so ishikane vizuri okay and please check it because during this time the meat is cooked so make sure you don't overcook it but if you love to overcook it ndo unataka kuta tu as i say removing the meat from the bone then that's your choice but i love to give it exactly 10 if not much sana 15 minutes i return it back to the cooker naifunika again this is optional guys this is very very optional okay in between check it out see how it is i added dania sticks again optional but i like i love color on my food so i added it and just look how the color it is like got some little green in there then the ketchup is red so as you can see it's really really good okay and again this is optional guys very very optional try to spread it maybe because i do want my ribs here because i'm a i'm orderly even when it comes to food guys yeah i just love it so nikafunikia for i did this for exactly 15 minutes so it's really good so that ketchup e you know e even vizuri because i love you guys to enjoy this recipe okay as you can see i added more nilon and konadania so i added the rest so the kenyan in me cannot let go of good dania so i sprinkle a bit on top yeah then to kafunikia just you guys just have a look look at how good that looks like isn't that beautiful yeah so to funike okay funika so i served my pork again i did my homemade mashed potatoes with cabbage yes we have to eat healthy ladies and gentlemen please i love my potatoes the marrow in me cannot leave potatoes out of it okay and just look how yummy that cabbage is yes yes and the moment you've been waiting for the moment you've been waiting for do you want to see how the ribs look like there we go five four three 
two, 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 one. Just look at that yummy, juicy pork, you guys. Like, na mezamata ni kisema yu. Like, I feel like I can eat it. Just look. Guys, just have a look at all that. Look how amazing that is is guys just look how good it is again a presentation i'm sorry zikufanya kazi ya hoteli but again that's the presentation of my food hope you guys get to please um try this recipe let me know tag me in pictures and i really really love to see you guys do it i get my meat at dagoriti and they're really really cheap so enjoy this meal i'll see you guys on our next video